Hey, what is up, everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to the final part of my Logic Pro 11 Session Players and Chord Track Explored course. In this video, I'll show you how to export your musical arrangement as multi-track audio files, including multi-track drummer instruments. As you'll recall from a previous video, we selected the multi-track version of both our drummer and session percussionist. So these instruments have multiple separated outputs for mixing the kick, snare, toms, hi-hat, cymbals, shaker, tambourine, etc. We want to keep all of these elements separated when we export to maintain full mix control over the project. Now, if you're just working in Logic Pro and not moving anything over to another project or another DAW, you won't have to do this. But it's not that uncommon for people to compose in Logic Pro but then take their compositions over to another DAW, like Pro Tools, for example, for mixing and mastering, or maybe working with a collaborator that doesn't have Logic Pro. Before we get started, I need to quickly tell you about the sponsor of this video, Boombox. Boombox is the new standard for file storage, file sharing, and collaboration for musicians, bands, artists, producers, and mix engineers. Boombox allows you to upload your audio files, stems, mix bounces, and even full DAW sessions, and then you can share them with other collaborators who can then leave time-stamped feedback on your tracks. Boombox offers a full suite of collaborative tools, including the new Boombot AI, which is a virtual co-writer that offers tools like split stems, vocal removal, and it can even help you generate musical ideas. You can pitch and share your songs with a private or public playlist, create custom artist pages with your own branding to share your music. You can even use the Song Splits feature to manage song ownership prior to release, including professionally drafted legal contracts, metadata, and ISRC codes. Head over to boombox.io today and get four gigabytes of free storage or upgrade to one of their paid plans to get more storage space and additional pro features. Exporting multi-tracks is pretty simple for things like our bass, our pianos and keys, and the pad, because they're all just single track instruments. They don't have multi-outputs. But the studio percussionist has two different tracks, and then the Portland kit has a bunch of different tracks in here. So the way you do this in Logic, and, the, and they've made some fairly significant improvements over the years to make exporting multi-tracks easier and easier. The first thing you want to do is open up all of your track stacks for your multi-track instruments, and then also set the end of the song somewhere closer to the actual end of the song, and not all the way out here. So do something like that. And then what I'm going to do is hold shift and select all of the tracks, including the tracks inside of the track stacks. And what you're gonna do is go up to File, Export, and you'll see there's an option here for all tracks as audio files. You might think that that would work, but it doesn't. It actually just gives you a stem of the drums and a stem of the percussion. I want multi-tracks of kick, snare. You know, I, I want each individual microphone on the drums so I can mix it like a full kit. So what you're gonna do is select 31 or whatever number of tracks you have, 31 tracks as audio files, and then you're gonna to navigate to the folder where you want to save each of the multi-tracks. You can choose to trim silence at the end. You can choose your format. You can choose the bit depth. For multi-output software instruments, you can choose one file per instrument. That's just gonna give you a stem. One file per track, that is what we want to do here. You can choose to bypass effects plugins. I don't wanna do that. You can include any audio tails. You can include tempo information and volume information. And you can also choose to normalize or not. I'll just turn on overload protection. And then I'll just click export. And what this is going to do is it's going to export all 31 of those tracks. So what we're going to end up with is a drum stem and then individual drum multi-tracks, a studio percussionist stem, and then a tambourine and shaker multi-tracks, and then individual multi-tracks for all of our uh, bass, piano, and keys. And then when you drag and drop these audio files over into another DAW, like maybe you're composing here and mixing in Pro Tools, everything will be split up so that your mixing engineer or you mixing in another DAW, you can go in and you can have total mix control uh, over your arrangement. Okay, so now that I've exported all of those multi-tracks, I've got a blank project here. I can go find those multi-tracks and drag and drop them into a new project create new tracks, and there they all are as audio. I've got individual drum tracks, individual instrumental 
tracks for the keyboards, bass, uh, and other instruments. And I can dig through these, reorder them in any way I want. Just beware that the stems for the full drum kit are going to be in here. And then the stems for the session percussionist will be in here as well. So you're really just going to want to use the multi-tracks, not those stems. So it's going to take you a little bit of work to organize this, but at least now everything is in audio format so that you can use it in any DAW. And now everything is in a format where you can start uh, mixing the track, adding whatever effects you want in here, adding your sends and your buses and time-based effects, maybe record a vocal, add in other instruments. So this really helps to just separate the, the sort of composition side from the mixing and production side. So that is my Logic Pro 11 Session Players course. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more Logic Pro content and tutorials. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.